Morning, it's Sunday the 7th of April. I'll put it out and a quick walk on the plot. Be a quick one today. Bring the pooches. Lola, what do you think? Right, get, get caught without leads when I get told off. Because they're buggers. So, like I say, so it'll be a quick one today. Not happening much down here. It's the same old rubbish. I will eventually get rid of it, but I think I've been saying that for the last five years, six years. Come on, girls. That's all you're going to hear me saying. These beds, well, it looks like a pigeon's been caught or something, but someone's been digging there. These three beds, planted some tab onions. It's not the best soil that I've got. There's a lot of bark in here, and the, the, the um, onion seems to be shooting the stick here, the roots out, and pushing itself out. So, the cell's not too bad underneath, it's just top, it's not the very best. So, the started to, sorry about the, the leaves are starting to show. There's fee fee leaves. It's starting to grow, like so. You see on there, that one's come out. And so, so she pees on me a lot, man. Push them back in. See right there. Show down there. Just, the roots are there. It's just pushing itself out. Just gotta keep popping them back in. So I've done three beds of them. Ten be in and I've still got another five or six bags to put. We're supposed to be having a bit of a winter storm this week. So I won't be planting them this week. So I've weeded most of the beds now, did them the other day. Um this bed here, that's the same as the other ones. It's not the best of soil. It's just a, it's just the top part that's the rubbish part. It's when I've been doing the compost bins, it's all the rubbish that I've been along the path of I'll oh, well, what for it away, I'll use it. See what happens. This that's all done. Them beds are all done there. Come back to that one. These one are dead done as well. So I did some of the weeding around the edges. It looks better, considering I ain't been for a week. Just been working nights. Right, this bed, what I've got in there, the, I found some salad potatoes in the cupboard. What the dirt red butt left them. And they started chitting, so for, right, instead of throwing them away, plant, planted them in this, and then put a full bag of salad potatoes. I, I've only gone a trowel depth, so I'll just see how they go. If I get some out of it, I get some. If not, I ain't wasted anything. I just wasted a bit of time putting them in. So I'll go show the progress for that. Still got to get this little patch here sorted out and set these up and get it covered over properly. So say the fences come down. And the weeds go along the fence a lot, so I need to get them sorted out. It's, it's better than it has been, but just look at this got sorted out. There, them parts there, little seeds there. They've started, there's the gooseberries. The plants, so that's the, is that rapple or pear? They're, they're growing. Same as this one, they're growing on there, which is quite good. Hey girls, to the lead in a minute. I laid all that back down the other day, but the winds took it up. So it's looking alright down there. Give that a quick rake over the other day. Brock as much as I can. It's still dry, but it's nearer the time I'll start watering it, put a bit of feed in. I think I've got some like chicken pellets and that chicken manure to put in. Put that in there, get it dug in. You too. Come on. <whistles> yeah, rhubarb. Last week it must have been not that big. Now look at it. I think I'm gonna take some home today and make a rhubarb crumble. Some of them have started seeding a bit. Let's walk around here. Well, look, these were yeah, the them tr other apple trees and pear trees that I showed you. I've got bought them last year, and that's how far they've come. I ain't bought these this year. One's a pear tree, and one's a cherry tree. So top tip, make sure you buy them and the what um you got bad that run to the litter. Hey, look at this rhubarb now. Quite sturdy stems. Some of them have started seeding. That must have been getting stressed out. That means, so uh, stick on the compost seat. So the two at the bottom aren't took off very well, but these ones come real good. But look at them. Yeah, real good. 
<clears throat> and end up too, too many of them again, freeze it all and, and that's it. The uh, raspberries are starting to grow again, the trees, trees, stumps. I really need to get some of these dead wood off. See what's up now. I always have a problem at this end of the plot is the the couch grass. Not couch, but the grass. It's growing down here all the time. So it grows in the other parts of the back. But that's another thing the five minute job, but that's the pain in the bum taking that out so it just goes everywhere. It's same as in there. This is spread. And a few weeds at the weeds. Pond plants at the corner here, and that was it. And over the time they've just spread, 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 spread. Even getting stuff in here what I hadn't even planted before. So like onion things and onion seeds and garlic seeds, they've been planting in there before yeah, sowing itself in there. Weeds over there. They're just rooting the under the soil, then they go underneath the membrane and then digging them out, then you end up digging a big hole. Uh, pond leaves sorting out, the water's gone down a bit. With a bit of algae in there. But so we need a bit of rain. I've got the water butts to fill up. And half is covered up with that, so that's so the water's evaporating, then also that's taking up some of the water, so I need to take some of it out. But maybe should have done it by now. Just see where they've them two have gone. Lola, Fifi, come here, what's this? Come here, come here. Greenhouse, ain't done much on this side. The only needs raking over and flapping down. So now, got some seed planted, look at that. Three trays, done. I rush for it, run through them. Sweet peppers, tomatoes, 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 cucumbers, peppers. I've got peppers again, chilies. I've even put leeks in here this time in modular trays. Some cabbages, cauliflowers, turnips, swedes, and sprouts. I haven't got no, there's a few that I ain't got, but I ain't got no beetroot this year. I thought I had some beetroot. I ain't got no courgettes, but so I'll get some and they'll soon start growing. Yeah. They're just having a wander around. They're taking for a wander around and they a lot more in a minute. I mean, some people don't complain about them. You got others just moan and whinge about them. She's been a late, blah, blah, blah. They're on my plot, but anyway. Because what I was thinking is doing is where the polyton is there, blocking that off, the fence, putting a few more palings on, so then put a little gate across there then I can leave them on here apart from maybe falling in the pond but leave them on here then they can wander around they won't go in anybody else's plot but I, th I thought for this morning I might do that but not maybe not today but I will do it anyway that's another quick walk around plot so I'm going to take dogs for a walk around now and I'll love you and leave you and I'll give you an update do anything major I'll update it during the month if not I'll see you in May have a nice time, cheers. <laughs>